it shouldn't be defined it should yeah. be institutionalized and it shouldn't be quantifiable yeah yeah these things these things come from the techno uh, democratic uh, techno capitalistic space where everything needs to be put in a box quantified so that so that it's acceptable so that you can sell it yeah so that you know there's there's a there's a knowledge system beyond that which is something that yeah. think children should be taught at a very young age by very sensitive and intelligent people yeah no i mean uh, i i'm not much of an artist or art appreciator myself but i'm i'm an amateur historian i would consider myself a very very amateur historian and and what i've noticed is even if i want to learn have you subscribed to art i do subscribe to art history plus <laughs> <laughs> but um, what i've realized is even for example if i want to learn about things in india or indian history uh, yeah. most of the books available on the subject are written by non indian so you know that makes me and has made me start questioning also you know what perspective am i seeing about you know am i seeing the indian perspective am i seeing even something that's remotely collect, uh, connected to the lived experience or am i just seeing somebody else's because the western way of thinking used to be quite different from you know say the indian way of thinking it's becoming all sort of homogenized now but you know 50 years ago 100 years ago it was a very different way of thinking yeah so every part what you're talking about obviously not the whole which i guess is a point as well um moving on yeah. um you've mentioned this as well that you know a lot of the art that you review on on art history plus obviously it's indian artists but also people that you know personally as well um yes i'm going to put this bluntly obviously the answer is quite obvious it's possibly also something that would anger you but i think it's important uh, for the audience to hear it as bluntly as possible are there artists in india who are as good as western artists and how does one go about finding and sort of discovering your favorite indian artist so yes there are art- artists like if if you ask me that question i can i say indian artists are better than western artists no you can't they are of course again it's it, it, it's not a vertical it's a horizontal so yeah one artist looks this way one artist looks that way one artist this way and that gives you the whole global perspective so right. sometimes i feel like if you want a richest if you want the richest experience of humanity you don't need to go through journalism you can read poetry also or you could do art you could see artworks yeah. you'll get a very yeah. you'll get a very even not even a youtube channel you'll get a through an artwork you'll get the most you'll get the essential oil of the artist in a drop in front of you giving you all the information lived experience of that person on a canvas or in a sculpture or in a drawing and it will have context yeah and the artist is usually just standing around the work trying to see if you are looking at the work or not so the artists are all around you just need to ask yeah. them and in fact i feel that the problem of our generation is that we stopped asking and i see that you know extracting information mm mm-hmm. is extracting like like you for example you have interest in extracting yeah. information yeah. from me that's the yeah. un- that's the only thing that you know you know in fact pulls the future closer and like pushes the, the pushes the bar ahead because yeah when you when you when you like um, uh, when you crave for knowing something people are out there dying to tell you but just ask me once yeah so absolutely when it comes to west, so when it comes to western art there are many people who are asking yeah also they've gone through two world wars and they've been a part of a lot of damage in the past so the, their understanding of culture yeah holding on to culture what is the value of an artifact what is yeah. the value of it because they know that a war can happen and this can go yeah and absolutely might cease to exist so there is a value there's a time cost to it because it lived for 100 years because it lived for 2000 years because it lived for 5000 years right it's the same thing yeah. like how we keep you know in india everyone keep thumping the chest saying that the rigveda is 5000 10000 mahabharat is 10000 years old they have that gives it the value in a way so yeah, yeah. The, the west doesn't have that kind of civilization yeah that long like america is 350 years old so they have started their clock 
just 350 about 350 years ago yeah right and so they have and they have started documenting their ideas just 350 years ago and so they're very sensitive about where they're going and what they want yeah. to do. so that is in and the kind of institutional help to well the country you know they love wars they love to attack they do you know it's like in a way uh, in, in a way they are they are bulls about everything right they're bullish about everything and in and that's the problem it's like the problem of being in a, in a colonized space is that psychologically you feel like oh you know they're doing it so loudly and so well and such a, such high quality that the illusion that the because the the way it reaches you is so high the quality yeah. you feel like the content is also high right but that might not be true the content is as valuable as it is here for the content here but the problem yeah. is not it is not reached you in hd or 4k it's reached you yeah. via a low quality maybe i'm going to say it like a doordarshan badly edited version with bad audio with you know there's no respect uh to the kind the format this is the most important format right now right yeah. this format now if you're recording something in low quality the content doing, also is seemingly even the content you're doing a major disservice for the future generations which they yeah. understand so yeah, they're like yeah. so which is why which is why i keep saying that the the when you ask questions like are the artists are the artists as good i would say the technicians are not that good who are doing the recording the back office the ad- executive you know the institutional administrative administration technicals are not good the artists the poor chaps are just sitting there they're like ask me a question i'll answer you now yeah yeah if if there was someone i am that person if i if there was <laughs> who who was interested in making sure that we i'm i'm looking at leaving a legacy like i've done 150 films now i have interviewed for me my lived experience is already golden right like that yeah. value, the value of that is just in terms of i don't know what's the currency for human love but it's like <laughs> i'll i'll i love it i i okay i've made money also along the way but I, what i'm trying to say is that i'm me as an individual i'm looking at doing this till i die i'm never retiring but in a way i'm leaving behind something for the whole country yeah do it and i feel like you know i really sometimes i feel like i'm i'm uh, there are quite a few people doing this but i feel like right. we all we all need to do this then once the quality of the of these these products come out once the quality of this content comes out you'll start seeing the yeah. quality you'll start seeing the equality in uh, you'll start seeing the equality in the artworks also yeah yeah no i mean i was just thinking as you were saying it and i know sort of uh, the executives might be to blame for the technicians might be to blame but if uh, you know uh, an instance came to mind based on a past live session that we done um yeah in all of these sort of avengers and all these high fi sort of hollywood movies um if you wait till the post credit scene the the credits are rolling you'll see the vfx and the animators are often indian teams based in india yeah but at the same time the quality of indian animation shown on indian televisions is so poor so obviously it's not a matter of skills or not having the content it's just that maybe for whatever reason maybe money related or whatever the the focus on the indian audience and sort of you know yeah. doing it properly for india yeah yeah absolutely it's like since since you need to be spanked as a child and be told that that is bad quality uh that is bad quality recording and that uh yeah. you know you the thing is we've not grown up on home videos the way america has yeah. so when yeah. the, when the handycam come the kid in america has grown up seeing him his image in hd footage then hd yeah. then you know uh, so they have made these advances like the japanese have yeah. uh, made these advances and they have taken the systems up step by step over here i still get Uh, you know for endocrine i still get people are like you know we don't want anything in 4k we don't mind mo- we don't mind we don't mind mobile recording also we don't ca- we don't want high quality bring the price down yeah so this, this mic is expensive like this the yeah. to, to handle 4k footage i need a hard disk which is expensive correct i, I need yeah. a computer that that can do 8 bit recording so you need a very heavy 
I mean, the technical need for making a good quality, high quality content is a money yeah. is a is a money equation. And I feel yeah. like when, yeah. when people don't want to invest in that, they you know then they're like, "Okay." Then they're like, "Yeah, absolutely." I I hate the word, but it's like it's it's called "chalta hai." So then that uh, that's absolutely that that no. So the whole country is doing this. So you know, it's like it's in in it's in everybody's DNA. So in a way. it's it's uh, people are not like high, super focused about you know like people want to preserve indian culture for example very simple yeah. everybody yeah. wants to preserve indian culture people know how to do it also there are some very amazing people who are sitting who have great amounts of knowledge but the problem is yeah. nobody's, nobody's ready nobody's ready to uh, be the philanthropist nobody's ready to be put the you know put the csr funding in that direction Yeah, yeah. They they want instant gratification. They were like, you know, okay, let's do a let's do a session right now, so I can take photographs and put on my website, so that my boss is happy, so that I, you know, instantly I can show the uh, ROI instantly. Yeah, yeah, but, absolutely. But the guys like me and my company and people I know who basically are thinking, okay, hundred years later, in when when the when the future kid who's going to be wearing glasses and everything's going to be seen and when they want to come back and see archival footage of things that i've made they'll be like yeah. why is this guy in 2020 still making 720p footage <laughs> he is not going yeah, to be, he or she is not going to have the conversation about uh, you know think that oh there were no funds or whatever so yeah yeah it, exactly it reflects, it reflects collectively that's what i'm saying